Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Hinchy Gymnasium in West Rutland, Vermont. We're coming up tonight. We have girls high school varsity basketball action as the West Rutland girls, one of the top teams definitely in the state of Vermont, will be taking on the Mount Anthony Union High School Patriots. Should be an interesting contest as the West Rutland girls play primarily a Division IV schedule. And uh, tonight they will be looking at uh, facing a team that, well, for many years played in the Division I ranks. They have since uh, moved down, but certainly a much bigger school, Mount Anthony Union High School in Bennington. And of course, uh, West Rutland, uh, generally a Division IV team here and uh, has pretty much uh, dominated under head coach uh, Carl Serrani over many years. Uh, Carl, numerous uh, titles here as the uh, head coach of this uh, West Rutland girls uh, program. And if you're going to look at probably the most successful girls high school basketball programs in the state over the last several years, certainly this would be the one you'd be looking at. We're going to pause now for our national anthem. We'll run down the rosters in a moment. The uh, playing of our national anthem. We're just about ready to get this one underway. Both teams have been introduced on the floor for the West Rutland girls. They are Haley Rivers. Haley's a senior. Emily Trippanier, a senior. Gabby Griffith, a senior. Samara Raish, she is a senior. Peyton Gway, a junior. Isabella Coombs, a junior. Kenna Wright Chapman, she is a junior. Aubrey Boulot, she is a junior. Alexis Howard, she is a junior. Cameron Williams, she is a junior. Maggie Therian, she is a junior. And Haley Raish, oh, she is a sophomore. They are under head coach Carl Serrani. And the Mount Anthony Union High School Patriot girls out on the floor right now. We'll run them down as we go along the way here. Eva Cross, a junior. Madison Moore and Allie George juniors. Alicia Harrington, a junior. Grace McQueenie, just about ready to get this one underway here. So we'll get the uh, opening uh, tip off coming up. Uh, Abigail Sakura, Sadie Sakura, Taylor Huerte, Kylie McGurn, ball in the air. And off the opening tip, it is going to be controlled first by West Rutland. So the West Side girls will set up here for the first time. We get a shot taken. And that uh, left side three-point uh, range, that one uh, put up and uh, missed by Peyton Gway. Get a Mount Anthony a rebound. Patriots will bring it down and set up with the ball first time at their end of the court. Got a loose ball tipped out to the top of the circle. Patriots keep it, resetting the offense. There's a steal by West Rutland, and let's see, we get a breakaway down the floor. And shot put up, that is Peyton Gway on the takeaway and takes it in for the two from the left side. West Rutland going to full court pressure. Seeing out of bounds at the other end of the floor and that ball will be, looks like uh, gonna be staying here, this end of the floor. It's gonna be inbounded by West, uh, stole by West Rutland, inbounded by the Patriots. So a steal, take away, turn over there by the Patriots.
All right, out of bounds there off West Rutland, so it'll be inbounded coming up here by Mount Anthony. Patriot girls put the ball in play. Top of the circle. That's going to be a foul. It's going to be against uh, the Mount Anthony Patriots. So they have uh, already two fouls on Madison Moore, picking up her second personal right there. Very early in the game to have two personal fouls. Shot from the West Rutland free throw line. That one's going to be short. Patriots going to get one right there. We said their big player, number four, Madison Moore, two fouls on her, just hit that bucket. Steal by the Patriots. And that basket's right there hit by Abigail Sakura. On the West Rutland turnover. West side with it still in the backcourt. Full court pressure coming from the Mount Anthony Patriots. Abigail Sakura coming up with it again. Ball tied up on the floor. That'll be a jump ball signal. It'll be inbounded by the Patriots, but not before we have a timeout on the floor. So just underway, Varsity Girls Basketball at West Rutland. You can see visiting Mount Anthony Patriots have four. Home team, West Rutland, Varsity Girls, two with 4.51 left to go here in the first quarter. Just underway. Head coach for the West Rutland Girls, Mr. Carl Serrani. Talking things over with his girls during this uh, time out here on the floor. I want to thank the folks here at West Rutland for getting us uh, set up for this presentation here tonight on uh, PEG TV. Always uh, very helpful, very accommodating folks here at uh, West Rutland. Greatly appreciated. And as we said, uh, West Rutland stepping up here in class, I believe, the entire season, I'm told. They're going to play a, a schedule that will involve a lot of Division II teams and Division III and still remain in the D4 ranks, so they will be playing postseason in Division IV, from what I understand. But an excellent team. They'll be well tested here throughout the year with these regular season games, including this one here tonight. Mount Anthony on a takeaway right there. And now West Rutland with a steal. There's a breakaway bucket. That's Peyton Gway on the breakaway, the steal. In for the two, Peyton, a star player here for West Rutland. One of the top basketball players in the state of Vermont. Patriots are gonna throw it away across the way. West Rutland will have it back. You can see a lot of fans here enjoying basketball here at West Rutland over the last uh, many years and just pretty much full stands over there across the way on the west side. West Rutland uh, side of the that's one side, the other side full as well. Gonna have a foul on that play. It's gonna be Grace McQueenie that picks up the foul. Her first personal foul, team's at third for Mount Anthony. They lead, actually tied here at four apiece. Peyton Grace hit a, another bucket there, so. 
Shot top of the circle for three. Not going to go. Knocked around a good bit. West Rutland's going to get another opportunity here. They get the rebound, moving it across the floor. A lot of activity under the west side basket. Finally, going to be a rebound taken down by Taya Guetti. There's a loose ball picked up by West Rutland. Shot put up by West Rutland. That's kind of right Chapman that put that three up. Comes off the rim as a missed shot, rebounded by the Patriots. 3.10 left to go in the first quarter. And that will be a three-point bucket by that young lady right there, number 21. Is Taya Goetti and hits that basket for Mount Anthony, makes it Mount Anthony seven, West Rutland four. And down low left side of the basket, or right side of the basket, I should say. We're going to get a, a West Rutland bucket. That one by Isabella Coombs, making it seven six. Patriots by one. There's a loose, uh, almost a loose ball, recovered there by the Patriots. Down low left side of the baskets. Patriots going to get a shot off. And that one is not going to go. Goes out of bounds. Shot taken by Allie George for Mount Anthony. Full court pressure coming from the Patriots. West Rutland getting it in play. Right in the middle of the paint, loose ball picked up by the Patriots. They run it to their end of the floor. That one going in from the free throw line. Ali George hitting that one. Well, a couple of west side shots. Initially, Emily Trippanier. And Maggie Therian making that basket. At the other end of the floor, we get a loose ball picked up there by west side. West Rutland down by two. Chance to tie it here this trip down the floor. There's a left corner shot. That'll do it if it goes. Three-point attempt is up, and this one is no good. Emily Trippanier put that shot up. Patriot rebound. On Anthony Girls down the floor. Patriot Girls get it left corner area. Now they'll bring it out on top and try to reset that offense. And swing it over to the right side of the circle. And we see the ball going out of bounds at the baseline. And the official pointing Mount Anthony way, so they will keep it. Patriots will be inbounding here as we have 106 left to go here in the first quarter. Mount Anthony visiting at Hinchy Gym at West Rutland, leading 10-8. Ball in play at the free throw line, shot taken. And this one gonna come off the rim, no good. We got a west side rebound. West Rutland, nice fast break down the floor. They get a shot off, we're well, gonna whistle and a foul. Kinda right, Chapman took that uh, shot, the initial shot got fouled, then a Mount Anthony foul coming directly after that in the rebounding effort. So the Patriots Going to pick up a, a, a foul on the play. West Rutland will get the ball to inbound. That's Peyton Gway. Peyton going to hit a three on that one, all net. And that shot right there with 45 seconds left to go in the first quarter gives West Rutland back the lead, 11 to 10. A lot of activity at midcourt here. Very aggressive first quarter by both teams. Ball going out of bounds. And the official calling it out of bounds off Mount Anthony. All right, so West Rutland to inbound it. Ball underneath the West Rutland basket. Lot of activity there, pushing and banging going on, and finally a shot taken and hit. Isabella Coombs got that one. 
And Patriots gonna lose it, now get it back at their end of the floor. Oh, now re-stolen by Peyton Gway. Peyton taking it to the basket strong, hits the bucket right in front of the basket, makes it 15-10. Nice little run at the end of the first quarter. Nice run by the uh, West Rutland girls. They were down for a little bit, had a couple of quick baskets, took advantage of some turnovers. And there is the situation after one quarter of basketball. We have home team, West Rutland Varsity Girls leading Mount Anthony Patriots by a score of 15 to 10. And this one already, just first quarter action, shaping up to be a good one. There are the uh, West Rutland Girls in their end of the first quarter huddle with Coach uh, Serrani. You see over there in the background, athletic director Joe Harrington does a fine job here at West Rutland High School, has for many years. All right, and there's the entire bench standing up. West Rutland girls getting a test here tonight from uh, one of the bigger schools in the state of Vermont. Ron Anthony for many years, as we said, uh, Division I program for many, many years and have kind of come up and down between one and two, but West Rutland definitely a Division IV team over the last many years. And Playing a little bit of a tougher schedule this uh, season. Certainly one of the uh, best basketball teams in the state. Still very strong team, defending champion. And we are just about ready to get going here for the second quarter. All right, second quarter action underway. Ball inbounded by West Rutland. That's Isabella Coombs out on top with it, number 22 for West Rutland. Got a nice little open shot there from the foul line for Coombs, but not gonna go in. Tied up afterwards. And it's possession, Mount Anthony. Full court pressure coming from West Rutland. West side girls right now in the backcourt with it. That one's from way, way out there. It was Haley Thompson. I took that long ball there. That would be a four pointer if there was one. That she's way out there. Goes wide left of the basket and out of bounds. Now a pass all the way down the floor from the West Rutland end. Peyton Gway, long pass down there that goes away from everybody and out of bounds. So that'll be a turnover. West Rutland goes back to the Patriots. 7 16 left to go here in the first half. Second quarter action. All right, full court pressure coming right now, as you see, from West Rutland. Actually, Patriots have handled that pretty well here so far. Patriots with it again, break that pressure. Down at their end of the floor, down that left sideline. Ball goes back top of the circle. They reset the offense. There's a little floater put up there. That runner, they're gonna be no good. I believe that was Eva Cross. Out of bounds, gives it back to West Rutland. Isabella Coombs uh, underneath goes up and hits the bucket. That initial shot was put up there by Haley Race. She missed it. Then Coombs doing a nice job on the other side of the basket, cleaning that up, hitting the two. Patriots get a shot off, comes off the rim, no good. That's a loose ball at the West Rutland end of the floor. Patriots get possession of it again. All right, a whole bunch of substitutions coming into the uh, lineup here. Head coach. Mr. Carl Serrani right there on the sideline. Jordan Burke is the head coach for the Mount Anthony Patriot varsity girls. Ball inbounded, Patriots with it. All 
All right, ball comes off the rim after a missed shot out of bounds. It's going to be Patriot possession. The inbound with 5.50 left to go here in the first half. Knocked out of bounds again. Stays with Mount Anthony. Allie George will be the inbounder. Isabella Coombs doing a nice job blocking a shot by Allie George, as you just saw. That one blocked out of bounds, so the Patriots will keep it. They will inbound. And Taya Guetti will be the inbounder. Shot was put up by Abigail Sakura. She misses as you see the ball going out of bounds there at the sideline. That's out of bounds off Mount Anthony. They go back to the full court press. And West Rutland with possession. And all alone underneath the West Rutland basket, we get a shot. Let's see, we're going to have a foul on the play. The initial shot was missed by Isabella Coombs. She got her own rebound, had time to do that. Goes back up, hit the bucket, then got fouled. That'll be Allie George collecting her first personal foul. So instead of two possible three-point play this trip down the floor for Westside. And West Rutland rebound. Now we have a jump ball. Good hustle by Aubrey Boulot wearing number five for West Rutland, tying that one up. Jump ball possession goes to West Rutland. 5.15 left to go here in the first half. West side leading 19 to 10 over Mount Anthony. Varsity girls basketball at Hinchy Gym in West Rutland. Here's a good look at it. West side shot off the rim. No good. Allie George working with it now at the Patriot end of the floor on their rebound. You know, tied up there, Madison Moore took that shot, missed it. And then you see two girls, one from each team there, tying it up. Jump ball signal given, and it's possession Patriots. So they get ready to be the inbounding team. Taya Goetti will be inbounding it here at the baseline. Allie George over on that right wing, just inside the three-point circle. Put up the shot off that rim, out of bounds. Possession, Mount Anthony. Well, the Patriots with a couple of opportunities and not able to cash in there. The ball finally uh, going out of bounds at the sideline. And that will be West Rutland possession. West side inbounding with 4.26 left to go here in the half. We'll dish off by Peyton Gway over to that right side. I believe that's Emily Trepanier over there working with it. Cameron Williams actually over there, number three for West Rutland. Got it knocked away from her, out of bounds. Peyton Gway will inbound it. West Rutland keeps it. The inbounds pass gets knocked out. That was to Isabella Coombs, so it'll be Peyton Gway again trying to inbound it. She'll do that here from the baseline. They get it right back to her. She's gonna take that three. This one off the rim, no good. Good look at it though, Allie George with the rebound, number five here for Mount Anthony. Madison Moore taking that shot, misses, rebound West Rutland, breakaway down the floor. And underneath the basket all alone 
It's Cameron Williams. Now she got fouled, missed the shot. Sometimes you get a little bit rattled when you hear that defense coming at you, but good open look at it. And now we have a timeout taken on the floor. So there are the Mount Anthony Patriot girls. And over here to our right, we see the West Rutland girls, Varsity girls under head coach Carl Sorani right there in the middle. We have uh, 326 left to go here in the first half, second quarter action. And home team West Rutland leading by a score of 19 to 10. And again, a great crowd here on hand at Hinchy Gym in West Rutland here on this uh, Saturday afternoon. Ending the year here in just a couple of days, almost New Year's Eve and a lot of great basketball tournaments between uh, Christmas and New Year's all over. Basketball everywhere, giving folks around here a good opportunity to get out and see some great high school ball and a lot of good teams around here, including this team we are looking at right here. One of the highly regarded teams in the state of Vermont again this year. All right, timeout over with Peyton Gway will be inbounding it. All right, we get a jump ball called for right there as both teams tying it up. All right, this will be uh, possession West Rutland. They'll be inbounding it at the baseline. It's the right side pass tipped and taken away. That'll be a turnover going back to the Patriots. Approaching the three minute mark left to go here in the half. Patriots get it in the middle for a shot by Madison Moore. She misses that, a lot of pressure there in the middle. Coming up with it from West Rutland. Peyton Gway with it there over the half court line. Over to Cameron Williams over in that right corner. And he got a three point uh, shot attempt over there that did not go. That was Aubrey Boulot that took that shot. Looks like we're going to have a foul here on the play. It's going to be a foul against uh, West Rutland. Samara Raish will pick up her first personal foul. Long shot taken on the Mount Anthony side of things by Taya Goetti misses it. Here's Peyton Gray will try the same thing at the other end of the floor. That one comes off the rim, no good. <laughs> Traveling violation by the Patriots, gives it back to West Rutland, not a popular call. Chapman that took the shot for West Rutland. After the missed shot, we have a foul. West Rutland will be inbounding it at the baseline. And the ball knocked loose, out of bounds at the baseline. West side will keep it, they will be inbounding. Peyton Gway will be the inbounder. Isabella Coombs put up the shot, misses off Patriots. Another opportunity here for West side.
Pass in the middle is a loose ball. It's picked up by Peyton Gway there for West Rutland. Peyton will bring it down over the half court line to Isabella Coombs out on top. And good strong drive in the middle. Coombs put up that shot, she did hit it. 21-10 now, West Rutland. Nice bucket right there by Ali George for Mount Anthony. Brings us down a half minute left to go here in this first half. Peyton Gray to Isabella Coombs there, number 22 out on top of it. Peyton Gray gets the loose ball back, puts up the three. This one off the rim, no good. West Rutland rebound, they try to work it back inside, looking for Haley Race down low on the right side, and then the whistle and a foul. West Rutland inbounds it, and Peyton Gray putting up the long three-point attempt. Comes off the glass, missed shot, and that will end our first half. So at the end of the first half, let's give you a look at the scoreboard right here. We have West Rutland, 21. Mount Anthony Patriots, 13 at the half. At Hinchy Gym, West Rutland, Vermont. All right, it is halftime here at uh, West Rutland High School. The West Rutland uh, girls, varsity girls, leading Mount Anthony by a score of 21-13. And let's uh, chuck down some of the individual scoring statistics. And for West Rutland, uh, Bella Coombs with a total of 10 points uh, here at the half. And uh, she's had five field goals, one uh, uh, actually, no uh, for, uh, th uh, free throws. So she's hit five field goals for a total of uh, 10 points. So very nice uh, half by uh, Bella Coombs and uh, Peyton Gway with a total of two, four, six, one three-pointer for a total of nine points. All of those came in the first quarter. And those are the two scorers for the uh, West Rutland girls. They put 15 points up in the first quarter, six points in the second quarter. From Mount Anthony, we have Madison Moore with a total of uh, two points. Allie George hit two three-pointers for a total of uh, six points. Abby Sakura with a total of two points, and Taya Goetti with a total of three points on a three-pointer that she hit in the first uh, quarter. And then it was uh, 10 points for Mount Anthony in the first uh, as uh, they slowed down a little bit in the second quarter. A bunch of turnovers and scoring just three points in that second quarter. So uh, it was uh, West Rutland outscoring uh, Mount Anthony 6-3 to three in the second quarter. They had a good end of the first quarter, outscoring uh, Mount Anthony 15 to. 10 in that uh, first quarter. So that is where we stand here at the half as uh, we look at the crowd across the way. We'll be back with second half action in just a moment. There are the West Rutland starters, five girls that'll be starting uh, the second half. Isabella Coombs, uh, one of them, Peyton Gway out there. Also on the floor, we see Kenna Wright Chapman will be uh, one of the starters. Who else am I uh, missing here? We have uh, Aubrey Boulot. And we'll get one more here in just a minute as we are underway. Samara Raish is the uh, fifth starter on the floor here for Westside. West Rutland girls leading 21-13. And we get a jump ball signal across the way. Tied up there and uh, it'll be West Rutland on the uh, possession. So they will be inbounding. Mount Anthony girls. Down the floor, waiting on defense. Third quarter action. Hinchy Gymnasium, West Rutland. Presentation here on PEG TV. Nice move to the basket by Peyton Gway going in for the shot. She got fouled. That should be a shooting situation. I think we'll see Peyton on the line to shoot. Should be there to shoot too. That'll be Grace McQueenie that will pick up 
the foul, her second personal foul. And this is Peyton Gway on the line to shoot one, or the first one, and now she'll get one more. All right, one out of two from the foul line. Second one goes in, makes our score 22-13 now with that bucket. Patriot girls get it underneath. A shot pushed up there by Abigail Sakura. Abigail got fouled and she'll be on the line. She should shoot two. West Rutland foul is gonna be on Samara Raish. Samara picks up her second personal foul. Abigail Sakura, one out of two from the free throw line. A junior at Mount Anthony High School. Bella Coombs got that rebound for West Rutland. Good ball movement right there by West Rutland. They finally uh, worked it inside, that shot put up. And good by Bella Coombs. There's Bella doing it at the other end of the floor, pulling down a rebound on a Miss Mount Anthony shot. Peyton Gway, nice little dish off. And just to her right was Aubrey Boulot. Aubrey going off the glass for the two. Twenty-six fourteen is our score. West Rutland leading Mount Anthony. You can see full court uh, press getting ready here from West Rutland. They've used that pretty much the entire game. And it will be Patriots inbounding. Yeah, break to the, or the uh, Mount Anthony basket. Shot deflected, Abigail Sakura losing that one out of bounds, and it will be West Rutland possession. Patriot girls hustle back quickly on defense as Peyton Gway will bring it into the front court. Peyton fouled right over the half court line. So Peyton Gway will be lining, well, she was lining up to inbound it. Guess they're not gonna let her do that. Somebody else will do it. Kenna Wright Chapman into the ball game. Kenna Chapman putting it in play. That was Chapman with it over on the left side. No room over there. They'll bring it back out on top. Ball knocked into the backcourt. And it's going to be Patriots coming up with it. At the free throw line, shot put up by Madison Moore. Off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound comes down to West Rutland. Ella Coombs from the free throw line. That one around the rim, not gonna go. Sakura getting the rebound now for Mount Anthony. Outlet pass to the sideline is gonna go out of bounds. Nobody there for it. That'll be turnover by Mount Anthony and back to West Rutland. Ball tied up, left side shot there by Allie George for Mount Anthony, came off the rim. And players from each team tying it up. Looks like possession will keep it with Mount Anthony with 5.01 left to go here in the third quarter. It's West Rutland 26, Mount Anthony 14. Mount Anthony girls get ready to inbound. That shot in, out, and back in again. Nice looking uh, basket right there. That was Tayak Gwedi that hit that one for Mount Anthony. 
And there will now be a foul and a foul shot. A couple of foul shots coming for West Rutland. The ball was uh, worked inside there to Samara Raish, and that is Samara on the foul line. Samara got the ball inside, underneath for a shot. She got fouled. Foul is going to be on Taya Goetti, her second personal. And some nice foul shooting form right there by Samara Raish, one of the seniors on this West Rutland team. Samara makes the score 27 to 16. Now it's 11 point lead here in favor of the home team, West Rutland. And the second free throw off the left side of the rim and rebound Patriots. Madison Moore took that shot for the Patriots. It came off the rim, tied up. Jump ball gives possession to West Rutland with 4.31 left to go here in the third quarter. Home team West Rutland, varsity girls leading Mount Anthony 27 to 16. A lead they have extended a little bit here from the halftime. Another turnover, ball out of bounds over there in the right corner. There's a steal by West Rutland. Kind of right Chapman. Gonna take that one in on the pickoff and the uh, layup. Patriot shot was uh, missed. Maggie Therrien got that rebound. Deep right corner shot. Peyton Gway gonna clean things up there underneath. Got the rebound in front of the basket, just off to the right side, goes up with a shot, making it 31-16 West Rutland. All right, that's going to be a foul against uh, West Rutland's Maggie Therrien. <laughs> On the free throw line shooting is Allie George. Allie, a senior guard, hits the first. She gets one more. 31-19 with that last uh, foul shot hit by Mount Anthony. And now 31-20 is our score. 3.09 left to go here in the third quarter. Peyton Gway with it in the front court. Nice shot, three-pointer there from Kenna Wright Chapman. Getting in on the scoring here in this third quarter, having a nice third quarter. Patriot shot put up by Audrey Toromino, misses. Well, that pass just kind of more or less well Punched by Maggie Therrien. She just slapped that ball into the backcourt, went out of bounds. So did not uh, get to its intended receiver there. Goes out of bounds, goes back now to the Patriot. Or not back, but they keep it. They inbound. And that'll be an out-of-bounds with 2.14 left to go here in the third quarter. So the ball is going to be inbounded here by West Rutland. West side girls put the ball in play. Mount Anthony back waiting on defense. Yeah. 
That's jump ball possession, Mount Anthony. Stops the clock with 2.05. Let's give you a look at that clock. There it is up there on the wall. 2.05 left to go, third quarter, 34-20. Inbounds pass picked off by West Rutland. They work it underneath to Peyton Gway. And just that quickly, Haley Raish is the one that set all that up with that uh, steal and pass to Gway who hit the bucket. Nice response. At the other end of the floor is uh, Ali George coming in. Reverse layup try underneath the basket at the West Rutland end of the floor. That was Haley Raish. This is the shot, end to end action here. Peyton Gway out on top, three-point attempt misses. Ali George with the rebound. Coming down to a minute left to go here in this third quarter. Good defensive pressure here by West Rutland, but oh, let's see, maybe a turnover here. No, nope, loose ball picked up. Grace McQueenie got a shot underneath the Mount Anthony basket. Good look at it, just couldn't get it to drop in. West Rutland with the rebound, that's Peyton Gway out on top. It'll give and go, right back. Right back to Peyton, Peyton takes it in for the uh, bucket. be a buzzer shot. Haley Raish right in front of the basket got the inbound, goes in for a nice looking shot to make it 40 to 22 at the end of three quarters. There's the eight minutes going up on the board. Those are for the uh, fourth quarter. So it's again, home team West Rutland, Varsity Girls 40 and uh, West Rutland, or West Rutland 40 I should say in Mount Anthony 22. There's the period four up there. So fourth quarter, eight minutes go up on the board. Here are the Mount Anthony girls we are looking at here just in front of us. And then over there, West Rutland. All right, it's been a pretty good afternoon here for West Rutland. Pretty much in control of this game from the opening moments, but a, a good looking Mount Anthony team. One of the bigger schools in the state of Vermont, that's uh, Bennington's uh, High School. Bennington probably population wise, the size of the city of Rutland. So a school similar in size, but uh, definitely much bigger than West Rutland. Peyton Gway three-point attempt is no good. We get jump ball signal. Samara Raish uh, was the one tying it up for West Rutland right there, number 15. But the possession does go to Mount Anthony, this possession. Next one will be West Rutland's. And there's a steal at the uh, half court. Cameron Williams back into the game. Picked up that loose ball. Goes out of bounds and uh, West Rutland will keep it. West side girls will be inbounding at the baseline. Good ball movement for West Rutland. They get two nice shot attempts underneath. 
And neither one of them gonna drop in there. Now Mount Anthony with it. Loose ball picked up by Bella Coombs for West Side. Deep right corner shot. Cameron Williams missing that one. Everybody hustling down the floor. Ball gets away from everybody, goes out of bounds. That'll be out of bounds off Mount Anthony. So Patriot girls back waiting on defense. West side will inbound it and bring it down the floor. Kind of right Chapman, number 10 here for West side. Brings it over the timeline. Beautiful shot on that, on that one. Madison Moore gonna get three on that. Makes it 40 to 25 with that bucket. It's been a while since we've had a Mount Anthony basket. The transition down the floor and a bucket there by Mount Anthony. And that one, Grace McQueeny. Substitutions coming in for both of these teams. And it looks like West Rutland will be inbounding here at the sideline with 5.09 left to go in this basketball game. Bella Coombs picking that off, and now we have a whistle and a foul. Couple of shot attempts there by Peyton Gway, neither gonna go in, but then out of bounds off the Patriots. Wes Rutland will inbound, they keep it. Big bucket uh, hit right there. Aubrey Boulot, I believe, is the shooter on that one. That would be a three also. 43-27, West Rutland leading Mount Anthony. Peyton Gway shot in front of the basket. 
No good and a whistle and a foul. All right, we have 4.04 left to go here in this basketball game. 43-27 is our score. Home team West Rutland Varsity Girls leading Mount Anthony. Full court pressure coming from West Rutland. Peyton Gway steals it, breakaway layup, makes it 45-27. Okay, that'll be a foul on Allie George. Up on the board is her third foul, and that will put Peyton Gway on the line to shoot. <laughs> One out of two from the free throw line score, 46-27 now, West Rutland. That is a traveling violation. Nice job underneath the West Rutland basket. Working it right inside. Haley Race didn't have the best angle on it, but Haley doing a beautiful job right there hitting that bucket. Now Mount Anthony wants a timeout. A little bit of a run put together by the West Side girls we are looking at right there. They lead it 50 to 27 with 2.47 left to go here in this contest. They came in here with a four and one record overall. That one loss, I believe, was to Hazen. Hazen, uh, one of the top girls teams in the state of Vermont. It's been a while. It's been a long time since uh, the West Side girls have lost a game, actually. And this won't be one of them tonight, as they have a pretty healthy lead here. And the timeout just about over with. And uh, firing on all cylinders here tonight, or I should say uh, this afternoon. This is a Saturday afternoon contest. It's December 30th, so just a couple of days left in the year. The eve of New Year's Eve here. And things really kick into high gear after the first of the year. All right, ball in play and out of play. As soon as I said that, they throw it away out of bounds at the sideline. All right, so turnover by Mount Anthony gives it back to West Side. They inbound. Peyton Gway, the inbounder. And she gets it right back.
All right, that was a foul against West Rutland. Gives it back to Mount Anthony inbounding at the baseline. Another foul. No, actually that's a five second violation. You have X amount of time to get that ball in play and they did not do it. So that gives it back to West Rutland. And here's Peyton Gway to bring it down over the half court line. Travel against Mount Anthony with a minute and a half left to go in the ball game. Substitutions coming in on both sides in the final seconds of this game. Final minute and a half. 50 to 27, West Rutland doing a nice job here this afternoon against Mount Anthony Patriots. Gabby Griffith in there took that shot for West Rutland. Off the rim, no good. Rebound, Mount Anthony. <laughs> Abigail Sakura, three point attempt from that right corner. Off the rim, out of bounds. And again, more substitutions coming in. Out of bounds, it was off West Rutland, so it'll be inbounded here by Mount Anthony. Riley Ware on the floor, a junior at Mount Anthony, took that last shot. Misses out of bounds, back to West Rock. Last West Rutland shot was by Maggie Therian, missing that one. is the buzzer ending this basketball game. And there is the scoreboard. West Rutland, congratulations. West Rutland Varsity Girls defeating the Mount Anthony Patriots 50 to 27. And this game happening on Saturday afternoon, December 30th at Hinchy Gym in West Rutland, Vermont. Both teams are lining up here to congratulate each other. But a fine win again here for the West Rutland Girls picking up uh, their fifth win of the season here on their home floor today with this uh, win this afternoon. And we'll get some final scoring statistics in this contest coming up. All right, congratulations again to the West Rutland girls on a fine win here today. Uh, they are now five and one with this win over the Mount Anthony uh, Union High School uh, Patriots. 
And uh, sitting with us is uh, Coach Carl Serrani. And Coach, uh, congratulations. Just talking to you a minute ago about how a little bit unusual for you guys to be playing uh, a Mount Anthony team and just a different structure this year. You tell me that's an SVL B level. Right. We, we moved ourselves up to the B level. And that means we're playing, crossing over with a couple of uh, A-League teams, a couple of C-League teams. And then there's Windsor, Springfield, Hartford, us, Otter Valley. Okay, so you still remain in Division Four, but you're just going to have yeah, a, we're gonna turn a little more competitive skill. Okay, and uh, I understand you're you're now with this win five and one. You had a loss a couple of nights ago, game we didn't see. That was to Hazen. What kind of a team was that? Hazen was uh, a mirror to us. They really were. I watched them on film, and I I should have got up there and seen them, but. I got lazy and didn't do it. And then I understand uh, that that was your first loss in uh, quite a number of games. Is yeah, it's only 40. 40, wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've been talking about you out here, all these wins, all these championships you brought here, banners on the wall to uh, prove it. And uh, this was a good uh, test here, here tonight. You got a pretty good feeling uh, about this year. You'll be playing some very competitive teams. I, I, I like it because, you know, you never, put a, you never put a kid in that when they're not – it's no junk time, really. You know what I mean? You, you yep. don't have that junk time. Maybe a little bit at the end some, in some games, but uh, every minute's meaningful. And, and, and then different years. I mean, you got a, a good uh, returning group of uh, players from the last year. Is that correct? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I got three seniors uh, this year. So we'll graduate three kids, and the core of the team's going to come back, and it's seven kids. So you've had an awful good run here, and I'm sure you're having a lot of fun doing it. It's probably you have more fun actually to play up a, a, a level or two as well. Well, right? I, I really enjoy it because uh, last year a lot of games we just ended up being, uh, Matt and I, we just ended up being uh, substitute coaches. And, you know, we just made sure people had the right, tried to make sure people had the right amount of time, playing time, made sure kids got other playing time. It was, it was it's bad when you, everybody thinks it's, uh, easy it's tough to coach one of them well very Blow good games good win here here tonight i think a lot of people were kind of looking forward to this thinking all right you know mount anthony i mean me growing up uh, mount anthony was always a division one powerhouse i mean yep. certainly a school the size of uh well i mean rutland and bennington similar in size so i'm gonna guess uh, you know it's a division one school basically yeah. size wise you know, and they're just they're they're re trying to rebuild their program uh their coach is doing a fantastic job i i think anyways um they, they've got some kids that can play. I want to uh, just take a moment to thank your wife, Lori, who's been providing us with the statistics every time I've been here. And just uh, real quick while I got you here with me, Aubrey Boulot scored a total of... Uh, uh, it's a Boyer. Aubrey Boyer. Boyer. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm glad I got yeah. you here. Yeah. <laughs> I, I said Boulot in the... In the uh, and the uh, broadcast uh, here, so I'm glad you corrected that. Boy, I'm going to make a note of that. And then uh, Kenna Wright Chapman uh, had a total of uh, five points. Uh, we have... Uh, Hopefully, I'm getting uh, Haley Race down with uh, eight points. Yep. Bella Coombe, so she put a good uh, effort in here tonight. Had a nice uh, first half, especially, but finishes up with a total of 12. And then uh, Peyton Gway is uh, your mainstay with uh, 19. You got a 19, lot. yeah. She could, she could probably get. She probably got, probably got more. Uh, she sees the floor so well. Um, makes incredible passes. Sometimes we don't catch them, but uh, she sees the right pass to make. And just what a kid. Well, I know you've got to be awful proud of what you've been seeing oh, here for the last I few am. years. I am. Okay, it's just amazing. Real quickly, I'm going to check the uh, Mount Anthony girls. Madison Moore yep. uh, got a total of five points. This uh, Allie George, she put a nice performance in, had double-digit scoring, yep. 10 points uh, here tonight. Uh, Grace McQueeny, two points. Abby Sakura, total of uh, three points. Uh, let's see. There's another Sakura, Sadie, I think it is uh, Sakura. Yep. Uh, two points, five points for Tanya Goetti. Yep. And there you go. There's the uh, entire scoring. So I thank your wife, Lori, for giving us that. And, uh, Coach, thanks for spending a few minutes with us here, and uh, congratulations. Not a problem. We'll try to, do that. We'll try to have a better setup for you next time. Uh, I appreciate it. This is a beautiful gymnasium. I did, uh, well, a few games here so far, the boys. Uh, Having an excellent season. I, I might mention, too, that's your daughter that's uh, coaching the boys. That's my daughter. I'm really and, proud of that one. And, that, and that actually, uh, that they, they are surprisingly, uh, I think they've surprised a few people on how good that team really is. They're undefeated as well, aren't they? They are. They're 6-0. All right. They, got, they won last night. Yeah, basketball in your blood, I guess. Oh, I guess. I didn't tell you. <laughs> All right. Well, again, congratulations to your girls. And they won this one 50-27 uh, to 27. 27 over. Yep. 
Mount Anthony Patriots. Coach Carl Serrani, thank you very much. And uh, that will do it, a presentation here. Hey, on Happy Pike New TV. Year. Uh, thank you.